so many of you guys already know that I have my own t-shirt range and very soon it's going to be available again because right now we're changing manufacturers. So of course mass t-shirts are created by using machinery but today I'm going to show you guys how you can screen print your own designs. You've got nothing to lose, it's fun, it's cheap and easy so let's get started. So of course you're going to need a plain t-shirt and make sure the t-shirt isn't expensive, any normal cheap t-shirt will do. Now this is called Mod Podge and we're going to make a stencil with this but to be honest it's just like PVA glue to me. And of course you're going to need fabric paint. A piece of thin fabric, something like curtain fabric, this is called organza. And this is just a 12 inch embroidery hoop that I got from eBay. And a sponge. Now you can print or draw the image or text that you want on your t-shirt. Now because this is demonstration, I drew rather newbie pictures as samples. So I know, I know they look really silly and anybody could draw this but it's because we're demonstrating this. Yeah. Hey, come on, give me a break. This is basics, man. Okay, anyway, continuing on with the organza fabric, you're going to cut it up and cut it so it's enough for it to fit into the frame. And then laying the thin fabric over the embroidery hoop and just popping this over to secure it. You can tighten it by um, tightening the screws and of course you can also pull the sides of the fabric so you get a tighter surface to work on. And once you're done with that, you're going to pop the hoop over your <coughs> drawing or picture and with a pencil, you're just going to trace around it. Tracing around this image made me feel like I was back in primary school again. Actually, drawing that picture made me feel like I was back in primary school again. So yeah, just trace it really briefly so it's enough for you to see through the fabric. Okay, so now I'm done with that and you can see the little image on the stencil. Hi! <laughs> yeah. Okay, now so using the Mod Podge or PVA glue, I'm going to take a brush, dip it in so you get a good amount, and what you're basically going to do is you're going to use this uh, Mod Podge to create a stencil by going around it. So I'm just going to fix it so you can see what I'm doing. So just go around it. And basically you want to fill in areas that you don't want um, fabric paint to be on. And as you can see it has a nice thick outline and what we want now is to just leave it to dry. The Mod Podge glue should dry in a clear form and then we're ready to stipple this onto our t-shirt. So layering over the t-shirt, remember to slide a piece of cardboard between the t-shirt first. Now taking the fabric ink, I'm just going to dip my sponge into the ink and I'm going to hold the fabric in place and just stipple. Remember you don't need to use force, you just want to go gentle. So I got like a whole packet of sponges from eBay for something like less than a pound or something but if you don't have a sponge you can also just use a paintbrush and just double the same way. And for the cheeks, I simply just mix the white with the red to create a pink color. You can definitely save money by mixing colors instead of buying separate fabric inks. Another cool thing I forgot to tell you guys is you can actually keep the stencil and use it over and over again. Okay, so this is the part I really love and it's to gently lift it off and voila! Now I'm going to show you another method to screen print your t-shirts and um, yeah this is by using contact paper so you use contact paper if you're drawing simple shapes so as you can see I'm basically just going to draw two hearts 
like so. Hmm. Yeah, very skillful, huh? <laughs> now, of course, I'm going to be cutting the inside of the heart eye with tiny scissors. And then you should get something like this. So now I'm going to peel the backing sheet off so you're left with the sticky, transparent piece of paper. And I'm just going to lay it on my t-shirt so it's going to be secured in place. Now remember to slot something underneath the t-shirt again. And with the red paint, I'm just going to stipple again. So I realize that you guys can't see me doing it, but I promise you I am stippling away. Okay, so once you're done stippling a thin layer, just peel the sheet and you should have really good precision. And then your first screen print masterpiece is done. So let it dry and then iron over with grease paper. Okay, you have to admit it is kind of cute, right? And once you feel you're more experienced, then you can definitely try different designs out. And this one here is one that I experimented with and it's a waistcoat design. 